हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज शुभश्री एंड आई वेलकम यू टू दिस चैनल एंड टू दिस वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट मेकिंग कैक्टस आउट ऑफ क्राफ्टिंग क्ले एंड कार्डबोर्ड फॉर होम डेकोर आई रियली वॉन्ट टू गेट सम आर्टिफिशियल कैक्टाई और सक्यूलेंस फॉर दिस पैनल रैक्स एट माई लिविंग रूम बट वेन आई सर्च ऑनलाइन आई फाउंड सच आर्टिफिशियल कैक्टाई आर सो ओवर प्राइज्ड सिंगल पीस ऑफ कैक्टस कॉस्ट अराउंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेट ऑफ थ्री और फोर आर्टिफिशियल कैक्टाई कॉस्ट अराउंड थ्री थाउजेंड एट एमेजन सो आई डिसाइडेड टू क्राफ्ट दम आउट माई सेल्फ एट होम एंड दीज आर द कैक्टाई आई क्राफ्टेड आउट लास्ट वीक I crafted six cacti and the overall process of crafting each cactus was pretty simple and I thoroughly enjoyed it. However, it took quite a lot of time completing all the six pieces and that's why this video gonna be little lengthy. So for your convenience, I'll try to add chapters while uploading this video so that you can fast forward this video to whichever cactus you would love to watch first out of all the six pieces. So in order to get started I quickly googled out some images of commonly found cactus for reference and then selected these five shapes to go ahead I used ping pong ball for the circular ball like cactus and for all other cacti I used cardboard as the base Now let's run you through the things required for making today's DIY The first one is packets of polymer clay. I have used 2 packets of green color clay in total for crafting the bodies of all the six cacti, 1 packet of multicolor clay for crafting flowers on the cacti and some air dry clay also. Those painting brushes which I used to apply fabricol on my craft items eventually become useless and the bristles of these wasted brushes I have used for making the spines or uh, thorns of the cactus. As a alternative we can use bristles of a wasted uh, bottle cleaner or a toothbrush or we can use the end of these incense sticks we can try cutouts of uh, jute ropes also however in my experience using the paint brush or toothbrush is much more easier and convenient to use as uh, spines or thorns for the cactus next item is glue gun or hot glue We need mini pots or planter to hold the cactus. If we don't have the mini pots, then we can use the commonly found paper or thermocol uh, coffee cups. Next item is a cardboard of course which I have used as the basic structure uh, of these uh, cacti. And as I said earlier for the round or circular shaped cactus i have used a plastic ball next item is thermocol i cut it out small square pieces of thermocol to fill in the planter and i have covered the top thermocol piece with green velvet paper so that it can make a nice base for holding the cactus then we require bamboo stick to insert the cactus into the planter I have transferred these plain white planters to a marble finish planter by using nail polish. I had uploaded this as a very short video last week. Hope you guys have already seen that. Let me show you again for those who haven't seen that video. This is a very simple process. I have taken some normal water in a big bowl and have sprinkled some nail polish, golden black and yellow colored. And then with the help of a toothpick, I just tried to make some design on the water. and then i dipped the planter into the water in such a way that the nail polish sits on it properly and that's all as you can see the marble finish planter is ready in just 2 seconds with help of simple water and nail polish now let's get back to cactus making the first cactus that i'll be showing you is this blue columnar or star like cactus I have cut it out uh, some leaf like structure and then folded it in half like this
I had already made one of such structure beforehand. To add some more stem to this cactus, I will be using these extra uh, cardboards. So I'll cut them in halves and I'll just paste it in the already made uh, structure like this. Now the structure is ready. I will be applying some Febicol and then I'll cover it up with air dry clay. We can use polymer clay also but I'm using air dry because I have only two packets of polymer clay which I'm keeping for rest of the cacti. I have colored it with the green acrylic colors and left it to dry out for the whole night. Once it has dried up completely and have become hard enough, I will be adding some more clay to hold in the thorns. I have made some very narrow rolls um, out of the clay and I have cut it out the brush like this to make the spines. So this is how I am pasting the bristles of the brush and to secure them I will be pasting these narrow clay rolls. These narrow strings of a clay that I am putting on top of these thorns will give an extra layer of protection to these spines and even when I will be dusting these uh, cactus show pieces uh, these spines will not have a tendency to fall out easily. I'm using yellow color to highlight the spines like this. I have used a small portion of red color clay to make a flower on top of this cactus. Uh, this is optional but I feel that creating a flower on top of the cactus will enhance the look. And the first cactus is done. Now let me show you how I did these two cacti. Making this kind of bunny ear cactus is much more easier than the previous one. So you can just follow the steps that I am showing you here in this video and you can easily give it a try. Now I'm making pores on both the sides of this cactus and I'll keep it aside while I'll make the third kind of cactus. In order to make replica of ladyfinger or fairy tale castle cactus, I have cut it out cardboard like this to shape out a cluster of two stems and one separate stem as you can see and then I will be covering it up with the green polymer clay. So I have made pores on both these type of cactus 
and then I'll put some hot glue inside those pores so that I can place the toothbrush bristles on top of it. I'll touch up the green color so that it can hide the glue and give a good finish to the cactus. And that's how both my bunny ear and fairy castle or lady finger cactus is done. Now let me show you how I made this fourth one, the round golden barrel kind of cactus. I have taken a plastic ball and I have covered it with uh, polymer clay. I have also made a small hole with the help of um, heated needle so that I can put the bamboo stick inside it and place them in the pot. After carving out lines like this, I have dabbed some white and green acrylic color on it and I have made pores like I did in all previous cacti. To bring out a realistic look, I have used brown color combined with the sea green and white acrylic color. And I have simply dabbed the color onto this uh, cactus. I am making another small popping up stem which I'll be putting on top of the cactus. This is purely optional but I'm really enjoying making this cactus so I'm making another small ball which I'll be putting on top of this round barrel cactus. For this cactus, I'm using white glue. I'm using a fabric uh, glue. We can use Fabicol also because I want to highlight those white spots on which I'll be placing all those spines. This will bring out a polka dot look, which is very common in real cactus. Placing this minute uh, toothbrush or bottle cleaner bristles on these pores is real time consuming work but it is not tiring rather it is a very relaxing activity at least that's what i felt while crafting these cacti if we don't have time and energy we can skip uh, putting all these spines let me show you uh, the cactus before i had put all these spines see it's looking good without spines also but yes, of course, if we have time to put all the spines in the cactus, then it looks much more realistic. Okay, so the round cactus is done. Let's do the next one. These kind of saguaro cactus are the signature cactus or that's the most famous or commonly found cactus, I believe. So I have crafted out two different kind of uh, saguaro cactus.
and this is done similar to this i have crafted out another saguaro cactus which is like a hand shape and both of these uh, cactus i have colored in two different shades of green as you can see So this one is uh, fitting best in this uh, rack so I've put it here in our living room and the other one I have uh, placed in a corner shelf in our washroom. So this is how I crafted all these six cacti and they are making this wooden partition in our living room look beautiful and gorgeous isn't it? Keeping all the cacti in one place side by side adds even more aesthetic look to the dining room as you can see. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's video of making cactus replica or cactus show pieces for home decor. And if you have really enjoyed today's video then please don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and leave your feedback in the comment section below. And also consider subscribing my channel because every Sunday I upload new video of home decor, DIY, shopping haul and lot more. So stay tuned to my channel, hit the notification bell icon and have a very happy week ahead. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye for now.